Welcome to Varsity. I'm Scott Wright. We're joined by Ryan Aver. Class 6A state championship game coming up this weekend, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. at Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater. Norman North uh, representing the west side <laughs> against, uh, against longtime power Jinx. Now you've, uh, you've seen both of these teams. Uh, primarily, uh, you, you got, got to look a uh, really up close look at Norman North last week. You've seen Jinx during the regular season. Start with Jinx. What, uh, what does Norman North have to do against this team uh, to, uh, to put themselves in position for an upset? A little bit of everything. They have to slow down uh, uh, Jordan Smallwood at the wide receiver position in OU commit. He's just uh, made some unbelievable catches. They've got some depth also in the receiving core. And then you've got to uh, find a way to, to trip up Trayvon Berry, who's just been an unbelievable running back this season. Uh, would be a much bigger recruit if he had had some other off the field issues that, that's holding him back. But uh, a really good running back. And then Jake's defense is just really solid. Nothing real flashy. They've got Steven Parker, a really good DB, uh, who's a junior, who's had a good season. But really, other than that, just uh, what Jinx does, just grind it out in the, the trenches on both sides. And uh, it's going to be a battle for Norman North, that's for sure. The one thing that, uh, that, that fans, I think, will enjoy about this game is, is or that they should look forward to at least, is the opportunity to see Jordan Evans from Norman North. People who haven't seen th this kid is just uh, an amazing athlete, six foot three, 210 pounds, three weeks in a row now with a, uh, a touchdown in the special teams game. He's primary, uh, primarily a linebacker. Uh, you see him on a lot of pass uh, rush. Uh, you'll see him uh, run the Wildcat out of the, uh, out of the quarterback position. Uh, talk about uh, how special a uh, player you think he is. Well, I mean, he's just had an unbelievable season. We knew that he was going to have a, a good year going in, but uh, what he's done is just taken himself from a pretty good high school player level to, to one of the best in the state, if not the best defensive player in the state. Just makes play after play. He had a sack the other night that uh, ended their game against Owasso on the final play. Uh, but he's not their only linebacker that they've got. Jackson Ewells has just been unbelievable as well, teaming up. And I think that's a big reason why Norman North has a chance to win this game against Jinx. Talk about the uh, the coaching matchup as well. Alan Trimble, obviously a, a, a seasoned <laughs> vet. Wade Stanley coming uh, has has some Tulsa Union uh, uh, mm -hmm. bloodlines in him as well, going back to uh, the Bill Blank Blankenship days. Uh, but he's a little bit newer, uh, a little bit green on the uh, on the head coaching circuit. Talk about uh, these two guys matching yeah, up. Yeah, Alan Trimble sort of gets forgotten about because of the the success that Jinx or the Union has had the last few years, and that uh, Kirk Frederick has had over there, winning four straight titles. But uh, Alan Trimble is still uh, still the man when you look at the top of the list of, of coaches who have won state titles in the state. And uh, just an unbelievable job of what he's done there. And he's done it again this year. Uh, I think a lot of people expected their offense to be really, really good this year. I don't think a lot of people expected their defense to be as good as they've been. They uh, had some players out early. And they were able to fight through that, fight through a couple losses, and uh, come out with a, with a state championship appearance. Now, Wade Stanley, on the other hand, has done an unbelievable job as well. Uh, coming from, from that union, coming from working with uh, Kirk, Kirk Frederick and Bill Blankenship over there, he was a head coach briefly in uh, Kansas, came back to Norman North, and he, the player said from, from day one, they believed that he was going to be the one that was going to get this team uh, going in the right direction. Jackson Ewells was all fired up about it when I was talking to him about uh, Wade Stanley uh, the other night. And just uh, the job that he did, getting these players to believe it, uh, not be intimidated when they, they face the powers, whether they're this side with Midwest City uh, early in the season when, when we thought they had a chance to be really good, uh, to Owasso and Broken Arrow in the playoffs that they've gotten through uh, the last couple weeks, uh, really has them believing. And this week, is no different. They're going out there this week thinking that they're going to win on Friday night, which hasn't always been the case when a West Side team faces a Jinx or Union in a state championship game. Now I picked Jinx from the start of the playoffs. I'm going to stick with that pick. I do think it, uh, it'll be more competitive than, uh, than people expect. I think there could be a, a little bit of an emotional letdown from uh, Jinx coming off such a big win over their biggest rival in, uh, in the semifinals. How do you see this one playing out, Ryan? Yeah, I'm going to go the same way. I'm going to go with Jinx in a close one. Now, what, get, what makes me think Norman North has a chance to win is uh, those linebackers, like I mentioned, and also their, their deep group of DBs and wide receivers that they can rotate on Smallwood. Uh, they don't have to have one guy, one big guy who's staying on him the whole time. I think that gives them a chance to, to slow them down uh, on the uh, defensive side. And then on the offensive side, Peyton Gavris has just been unbelievable during the playoffs. Norman East, Norm North's quarterback, if he's healthy and ready to go, which it looks like he will be, uh, it's going to be a very tight game, but I give Jinx a slight edge. Very good, Ryan. We appreciate it, and thank you for joining us. Remember to keep it right here on newsok.com slash varsity for the best high school sports coverage anywhere. <laughs>